It is a privilege for me to stand before you this morning. It is a privilege because I am greatly blessed. I have a wonderful wife and family, eight children, five of my own, three stepchildren. I have a great love for our Savior, Jesus Christ. I know he is my Lord, my Redeemer, my Savior, my Master. When I was a child, I can remember my Nana teaching me how to pray. At a young age, my faith was born, and through the years, it has been like a roller coaster ride. It's been up, it's been down, it's been all around. And the Lord has always been with me and has been carrying me all the way. There have been times of great joy, and there have been times of great sorrow. But through it all, I can honestly say that the Lord's been with me. I am grateful, grateful beyond words, for this opportunity to become a part of First Church, what I love about the church is it is a church of action, of service, of giving. And I hope and pray that I may play a small role in the future in giving back to the community that I love that I was born and raised in, and to the Lord's people. When I look out into the congregation, I see my Savior in your eyes. I see Him, and it is He who I seek to serve and to glorify through my meager attempts to worship him and love him. I'm grateful to our pastors who have been teaching us how to become transformed in Christ and how to glorify him and our Father through the programs of a first church. I won't elaborate any more about my own life because this time is not about me, it's about very witness that I do know that Jesus Christ is Lord and our Redeemer. And I want you to know that I know that I don't just believe it. And I pray that the Lord will bless you and keep you enwrapped in his arms of love as he has me and my family. And I hope that through the years we may come closer together as brothers and sisters in the faith of Christ. And I leave this witness with you in his holy name. Amen.